going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. So I wanted to talk about this little gem. I've been wanting to make a video on this for a while, but I wanted to uh, get some some footage. Of gun in use. <clears throat> but this is one of my favorites from Milwaukee. Like, I really think this is one of their best tools they offer for cordless. So I, I had the uh, the Gen 1 and uh, I wasn't a huge fan of it and I actually went with 16 gauge the first time and this was a while back and uh, you know you always think that your boss knows everything you know you'd like to hope so and he was like, no, you got, you got to go with 16 gauge. 18 gauge is, is, is not, it's not strong enough. It, it won't hold trim on. And I'm like thinking to myself, like other companies I've worked for, it's like, we always use 18 gauge. Like I've never had a problem, but I'm like, okay, whatever. I'll get 16. So I grabbed the 16 gauge and I hated it. I, I hated it. It was heavy. It, it was bulky. It didn't seem to have the same power or the, you know, the drive that this one has. And because it was a 16 gauge nail, it split everything. Everything you put a nail into would split it. So it drove me nuts. I hated it. I sold it. And uh, I waited and then they came out with the Gen 2. And I was like, okay, I'm going for the 18 this time. So I went and grabbed it, and this thing has been absolutely, I mean, I love this thing. And I, and I just want to mention, before I get too far, I know everyone's situation is a little bit different, and uh, maybe all you do is finish work, and you just trim out houses, or you work for like a huge company, and you're working in like multi-unit buildings, and you... You have a guy that drops off this big air compressor. You've got enough hoses to stretch out everywhere. And you like... The pneumatics are super light. And they are. And they, and they are powerful too. But I don't do that kind of stuff. Like... I might be doing finished carpentry for a week. Week and a half, two weeks. And then I'm doing plumbing. And then I'm doing something else. And he sends me to go to a bathroom that he did or someone else did and he wants me to tack on five pieces of, of baseboard and it's up you know six flights of stairs and I'm like okay this isn't gonna take long you know I just run to the van grab this I don't need air compressor hoses extension cords click in a battery grab my little miter saw run up the stairs See you later. Have a nice day. And it takes up a lot less room in the in the truck because I don't need the compressor and all that other stuff. And I, I don't know. I don't I don't have any problems with this. I do. I've trimmed an entire house with this. I do some furniture making stuff with it. I think 18 gauge is like the perfect nail. You can put uh, five eighths, all the way as short as five eighths, and up to two and an eighth in this gun. So I mean, a two and an eighth. I mean, these are two inch, but two and an eighth is uh, more than enough. And I have no problem, you know, over the head. And by the end of the day, my shoulder's not killing me. Yeah, the framing gun, Milwaukee's framing gun, is a big block of lead. Yeah, it's heavy, and I, I don't like using it over my head. I don't. But I don't do a lot of framing either, so thank God. So let's test out the gun. So here's some poplar sills that I had to make for these uh, huge, like, three-window yeah, it's like three windows. 
smashed together one giant sill, and there was three of them in this basement. So I had to take, uh, we needed 17 inches of wood. So the only way to achieve that without using plywood is to joint two edges of poplar and glue them together, clamp them up, let them dry, plane them down, sand them, router the edges, cut them, fit them in, and get them nailed. And probably one of the things that this gun does best baseboard. So if soft pine baseboards isn't gonna do it for you, we'll jump onto door casings and poplar trim. That's nice. So I'm going to show you some oak now, just so you understand what you're looking at here. Uh, there was a plumbing, a four inch clean out, and a piece of pipe going through the wall on a 45. And we needed a second egress in case of a fire. So that egress is the window. But in order for it to pass the code, you needed a set of stairs. And no, they didn't have to be that long. But this is going to be a workout room, so the lady's going to use the stairs to put all her weights on. Or just to sit on, or whatever. So I had to build uh, a frame of stairs and put casters underneath with about three eighths clearance between the bottom of the stairs and the finished floor. So you can just grab these stairs and wheel them away from the wall in case you had to get to that plumbing, in case you needed to snake the drain. But it needs to be there against the wall in case of a fire, they can climb up the stairs and jump out the window. But I'm gonna show you, uh, we did the stair treads out of oak and this gun does it, no problem. Sinks it every time.
just has good control. They really thought out, you know, there's rubber on the bottom of the clip, up here on the top of the clip to get jams undone. This is a nice big thing to grab here. Nice and easy. Get off and put back on. They send you a bunch of these rubber tips and they send you a couple different kinds too. And there's uh, storage for them. You can store two of them on the back here. There's rubber on all the major spots plus the battery rubber that you need it. So you can take this gun, well obviously not this side because of the clip, but you can lay it down on its back and all the points where it's touching a countertop, a finished surface, a finished floor, whatever, it's resting on rubber. So you don't have to worry about it sliding or scratching. Obviously this side with the clip in, you do have to worry. It'll stand up like, like this on its battery. And it will also stand up like this on the battery and the clip. That's the one thing I don't like about the framing now. Will it stand up upside down? I don't think so. No. No, it will not. See, I noticed the Hitachi framing nailer. You could put it down, upside down, and it would just stand there like that. And then you could reach down, grab it, and fire. The Milwaukee framing nailer won't stand up like that. The only way you can put it down is on its side. Or hook it onto something. There's no standing like this. There's no standing like this because the clip comes down and blocks it. The framing nailer is nice because I don't need a uh, compressor and hoses and I don't do much framing and whatever. If I did it all day long, I would say stay the hell away from the Milwaukee framing nailer. Honestly, it's heavy. It's very heavy. It's not user friendly all day long. But if you don't have room for an air compressor in your truck and hoses and you don't do that much framing, you just need to fire some nails, highly recommend it. It has some power. It has a lot of power, like these. And I noticed that the framing nailer is this exact same design. It's just scaled up. It looks exactly like this, it's just bigger fires bigger nails so this design works and it works well if you're looking for an 18 gauge brad nailer it has power you don't need an air compressor hoses and all that stuff look no further this is it so that's it for this one guys I really wanted to do this for a while I'm telling you, you will not be disappointed with this gun. It's worth every penny. So anyways, make sure you uh, thumbs up the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you on the next one.